So you've got a brilliant idea for a new app. You've been building it, designing it, hooking it up to workflows, and now you're ready for the next big step, getting feedback. But there's one problem. You don't have a huge social media following or an email list of thousands. You feel stuck. How on earth are you supposed to find your first five, 10, 20 beta testers? If this sounds like you, you are in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna show you three simple ways to get your first 20 beta testers without needing a single follower. These are the same methods that have helped our own entrepreneurs get started. Let's dive in. The first method is one you've probably already thought of, reaching out to your friends and family. But you need to make sure you do this the right way. You don't wanna spam them, you have to be strategic. First, you need to set clear rules for yourself. When you ask them, you're not just asking them to try your product and say, oh, it's great and it looks good. You wanna ask them for their honest, brutal, and critical feedback. Frame the ask this way. I'm not looking for compliments. I'm looking for the things that you don't like, the parts that confuse you, and the features that don't make sense. Your feedback is the most valuable thing you can give me right now. Next, you wanna be specific about what you need. Instead of saying something like, try my app, you should say, could you spend 15 minutes this week trying to complete this specific task? For example, can you sign up for an account and then try to create a project? I'd love to hear what problems you run into. And finally, you can also offer an incentive. This makes their time feel valued. And it doesn't have to be a lot. You can do a coffee gift card, a free t-shirt, or even just a huge thank you on social media can work wonders. This small step turns a favor into a meaningful exchange. So if you have 10 people in your close circle and you ask them this way, you'll probably get three to five committed testers right there. Now let's move on to the next method. Okay, so now that you've tapped into your inner circle, let's go to where your ideal users are already hanging out. This is all about finding communities and engaging with them. So if you really think about it, you know, where do people who would use your product go to ask questions or share their problems? For example, if you're building a tool for small business owners to manage their social media, you'd want to find communities dedicated to that topic. And two of the biggest gold mines for this are Facebook groups and Reddit communities. You can also find great groups on LinkedIn. Here's the key though. You don't want to just show up and say, hey everyone, come beta test my app. That is going to be seen as spam. You're going to get kicked out immediately. Instead, you want to provide value first. Right? Join the group and spend a week or two just listening, answer questions, offer advice, and really participate in conversations. Be a real helpful member of the community if you aren't already. Once you've built a little bit of trust, you can gently introduce your product. You could create a post that says something like, hey everyone, I noticed a lot of people in here are struggling with a specific problem, and I've been working on a tool to solve this, and I'm looking for a few people to test it and give me feedback. Would anyone be interested in a free preview? Notice how we're not asking for any money at this point, right? We're not giving discounts or anything like that. We're offering the application for free because the most valuable thing we can get in exchange is their feedback to make our application better. And if you really are integrated in the community, you'll be surprised at how many people will raise their hand when you're looking for testers because you've already proven you're not just there to sell something. You've shown you understand their pain points. Okay, real quick here. If you're finding this helpful, we have so much more to teach you over in our free extended workshop at coachingnocodeapps.com slash workshop, where we'll guide you through our four-phased approach for going from idea to app. So if you're looking for a start to finish guide, go ahead and register for that workshop right after this video. You'll get immediate access. For now, let's get back to our lesson. Now for our third method, this is all about quality over quantity. Instead of casting a wide net, you're gonna find a few very specific people who are the perfect fit for your product and reach out to them directly. So how do you find them? Well, again, you wanna think about the type of person who would benefit the most from what you're building. Are they a small business owner in a specific industry? Are they a busy parent? Once you have that profile of your ideal user, you can use platforms like LinkedIn to find them. All right, search for job titles or interests that match your ideal user. Then you're gonna send them a highly personalized message, and this is not a copy and paste job, okay? Your message should follow a simple formula. First, acknowledge them. Mention something specific you noticed about their work or profile. For example, I saw your recent work on the new product launch for you know, some company. Next, you're gonna tell them you're building a tool to solve a problem that you know they face. Like, I've noticed that freelance designers often struggle with managing client revisions, okay? Then you're gonna propose your solution briefly explain what your product does. 
So for example, I'm building a new tool that helps with exactly that, making it easy to you know, communicate with your clients, finish those jobs faster, things like that. And then finally, you're going to make the ask. Okay, so you're gonna end with a very low friction question. Would you be open to a 15 minute chat to give me your feedback on what I'm building? It would be incredibly valuable. Now, most people won't respond, all right? That's very normal, but if you send 20 to 30 of these personalized messages, you are very likely to get a handful of replies. Those are gold because these are the people who are already struggling with the problem that your product solves. Now, as a bonus tip, let me show you something that you can do here if you're building your app on Bubble uh, to help make managing these beta testers a lot easier. So all you need to do is add a yes, no field to the user data type uh, to indicate whether the user is or is not a beta tester. So we can literally call this field something like is beta tester. This way you have a value that can help you with uh, access to specific pages, if you want to preview certain features to those users only, and in general, just being able to identify who your beta testers are in the long term. So there you have it. Three powerful ways to get your first 20 beta testers without any audience. Start with your friends and family, then move into communities, and finally use direct outreach for hyper-targeted feedback. And remember, you're not trying to get as many beta testers as you possibly can. You're going after that high value feedback. Okay, so you gotta be strategic and genuinely ask for help to make your product better. In the long term, this will lead to more signups and more efficient growth. All right, I hope that was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to register for that free extended training over at coachingnocodeapps.com slash workshop. You'll get immediate access as soon as you register. And the link for that is in the description below. Okay, happy building.